This film supplements the instructions for use and serves to aid understanding. This film is not a substitute for reading and understanding the instructions for use. It is also not a replacement for mandatory instructions or training courses. In the following part, we would like to demonstrate how to use the Resuscitare device. The device will be demonstrated using four features – thermoregulation, developmental care, ease of use and infection prevention. Turn the controller on using the on and off switch. After a brief self-test, the device will beep. When the test has passed, you can begin to operate. The device will start. The device can be placed into pre-warm mode, allowing the device to warm the bed surface at 100% power output for 3 minutes followed by 12 minutes at 60% and then down to 30% thereafter. Pre-warm allows for alarm-free usage. Right before placing the newborn onto the Resuscitare soft bed mattress, place the device into manual mode. While in manual mode, adjust the heater power output to as low as 10% and up to 100%. Adjust the heater power from 10% to 100% using the up and down arrows directly underneath the set temperature LED display. While in manual mode, the alarm will sound periodically if the heater output is on level 4 or above to remind the clinician the device is running in manual mode. Once a skin temperature probe is connected, the device can also be operated in baby mode. Baby mode allows the neonate temperature, for example 36.5 degrees Celsius, to maintain the device temperature. During operation of the device, there are several alarms that can occur, which will be displayed during operation. With the available alarm silence feature, the alarm can be silenced for a period of time. The controller will display the neonate's temperature in the larger LED display. The smaller temperature displayed shows what the set temperature is. The 37 degrees Celsius override feature allows for a device temperature above 37 degrees Celsius up to 38 degrees. In the controller section of the Resuscitare, there are features that support developmental care, family-centered care. The controller display will also allow for quick display of Celsius or Fahrenheit. When operating as a radiant warmer, the device operates quietly at 47 decibels. The optional X-ray tray is built into the device, thus allowing the neonate to stay within the device, reducing movement and stress for the neonate and its family. Starting with the radiant warmer head. The head swivels 90 degrees in both directions to allow for easier access. While focusing on the radiant warmer, the LED light concentrates the light on the patient. Starting the APGAR timer allows for a visual and audio notification at 1, 5 and 10 minute intervals. The counter displays the time that has elapsed. Start stop or reset the timer. The ability to change the temperature display from Celsius to Fahrenheit easily allows for flexibility. The keypad lock prevents accidental changes to settings. To unlock, press the button again. To 
use blender suction and the resuscitation module, make sure the gas supply is connected. At the top of the resuscitation module is the blender module. This feature allows for a mixture of oxygen and air in order to deliver mixed gas to the patient. The range is from 21% to 100%. This is delivered through the primary patient outlet. Below the blender module is the suction module. The suction module includes the suction gauge, suction control adjustment knob, and an on or off switch. The suction gauge displays the suction level. The suction control adjustment knob controls how much suction is needed to clear the appropriate airways. This range is from 0 cm H2O to 80 cm H2O. The suction system is connected to the suction canister on the side of the resuscitaire VHA or fixed height stand. The suction tube is supplied with the device but can be interchanged. There are a variety of resuscitation modules that can be offered depending on the country and the options. There is an airway gauge, airway pressure relief knob, flow race, patient outlet, patient outlet 2, and a flow rate 2. There are T-piece breathing circuits that are specific to the external pressure versus internal pressure and are delivered accordingly. T-piece resuscitation. Connect the T-piece breathing circuit to the patient outlet. Go up to the blender and set FiO2. Go to the resuscitation module and set the flow rate, setting airway pressure relief or PIP. Set the knob to the desired setting. Take the T-piece and occlude both the top and the bottom. Setting PEEP. Occlude only the large port on the T-piece and adjust the blue knob as required to get the desired PEEP setting on the pressure gauge. Connect the mask to the T-piece. The additional resuscitation module offers auto-breath. The additional dials offered for auto-breath a rate BPM control knob peep control dial, on and off switch, and an exhalation valve. Auto breath resuscitation. Auto breath is a key advantage of Drago Resuscitaire. Connect the patient outlet and the exhalation valve. Turn on the auto breath module, set the desired FiO2, set the desired flow, and set the airway relief pressure, or PIP. Occlude the bottom of the breathing circuit and set the PIP to the desired setting. Set the breathing rate using the knob. Connect the mask and start applying breath to the baby. Set the PEEP using the knob on the resuscitaire. The breathing circuits are different between auto-breath and non-auto-breath circuits. Auto-breath circuits control the PEEP at the module, whereas the non-auto-breath controls the PEEP at the breathing circuit. They cannot be interchanged. The optional gas supply module is used to display the oxygen and air supply pressure. Depending on whether a blender is installed on the resuscitaire, either one or two gauges are installed but both will come with an on and off switch. The optional weighing scale offers added ease of use for the clinician by providing an integrated scale. The weighing platform is located underneath the soft bed mattress. To operate, follow the instructions for use supplied with the optional scale. The following steps should be followed. Press the weigh button Ensure the bed is in a level position. The lift patient symbol is illuminated. Lift the patient off the bed. When the lower patient symbol is illuminated, place the patient in the center of the bed. The captured weight of the patient is shown in the window. The net indicator illuminates. The captured weight will be displayed for six minutes. 
To reweigh the infant without removing or adding anything to the bed, press the reweigh button. The optional scale can measure the neonate's weight without having to place the baby on a separate scale. The suction tubing can be placed into the appropriate cutout in the side panel. The tiltable front, rear and side panels allow for easier access to the patient without the clinician having to rest their forearms on the side panels. The variable tilt mechanism allows for the mattress to be tilted from the front or the rear. There are swivel shelves that are recessed into the bed platform and rotate outwards to accommodate frequently used equipment. The optional X-ray tray is also recessed inside the weighing platform. The slide-through doors have a large capacity, allowing for storage of frequently needed items and a tray that can be placed inside the storage drawer or placed on the swivel shelf. The bed and the entire device can be offered in a fixed stand or VHA, variable height adjustment. This allows for easier access for the various clinicians providing support to the neonate. Casters are five-inch dual wheels with steering and locking, making it easy to move the device. The front and rear push and pull handles allow for easy transport of the resuscitator. This eliminates having to pull on the side panels, reducing the likelihood of breaking the outside panels. The O2 and air bottle connections on the rear of the device allow for supplemental gas options if wall outlets are not available and when moving the neonate from the L&D to another area. Additional accessories can be mounted on the 38mm pole, including items like the utility shelf, the controller for the weighing module and GCX adapters for other items. There are only a few parts that need to be removed from the device to allow for thorough cleaning of the device. Resuscitaire is a non-critical medical device and the corresponding risk should be considered. Surfaces accessible to users and patients should be disinfected by wiping. Do not steam clean the resuscitaire. Manual disinfecting is most effective. When disassembling the device, use recommended disinfectants. Refer to the IFU or supplements for the approved disinfectants. Ensure the equipment is not in use and is disassembled. Perform surface disinfection 
making sure to clean all holes and indentations. After the contact time has elapsed, remove the disinfectant residues. Wipe with a dry cloth. Special care should be taken when cleaning and disinfecting the following components. Clear plastic and acrylic surfaces, metal surfaces, and reusable skin probes. Perform a visual inspection to check our items for damage and external signs of wear, such as cracking, embrittlement, or pronounced hardening and residual dirt. order, reassemble the resuscitator components, including, but not limited to, the following items. Scale, X-ray tray, the front and side bassinet panels, filter or disposable suction bottle, new tubing and new filter. After cleaning and assembly, perform a complete operational checkout procedure as described in the instructions for use.